Hi guys, my name is Bogdan. I am the owner of DNN Sharp. And today I'm going to tell you some big secrets about Action Form. And we're going to use something that has never been documented. Some of you tried to use it, but had no success. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use the permission grid to create a uh, registration form that gives permissions programmatically based on that permission grid. And I'll just uh, jump right into action. I'll create an action form and start with the predefined um, registration form. Next thing, I'm going to add a permission grid. So basically this permission grid is not necessarily related to DNN permissions, as in it's not um, tied to a page or to a module. It's just a list of permissions that we can reuse in various places. And actually what this um, input control produces, it's a comma delimited list of role names. And then we can use that um, list of roles, um, for example, in the grant uh, roles action. So first thing first, let's uh, let's define some uh, roles that will appear in the list, and then we need uh, th this will be the roles of the permission table, and the columns will be the actual permission names. And here we could have only one permission, or we could have more permissions. But first of all, let me see if I have some test roles here. Yes, and I will use role one and role or role names. And then under permissions, um, I could say um, maybe I would just try two permissions, but will only give meaning to one of them. So let's say um, the first will be permission, and, and the other one will be maybe, let's say, age permissions. But we, we are not going to use this one just I want to show it to you. Now if I were to do a update form I would also load permissions so the initial selection will reflect the permission of current user but in this uh, example I'm, I don't have to do so. So what this control uh, will produce but let me show it to you first. I would just say uh, name this field select your role and then let me save it and show you what we have so far. Okay, so we have a permission grid, we have the roles on the two rows, and we have the columns with the permission names. And this uh, looks like um, other permissions table you see in DNN, like if you go to page permissions, you'll see a similar table, only this is built custom build, and um, you can we can use it for everything. So this, thi what this will produce, it will produce a list of uh, comma delimited role names that were selected. So I will show you, you this in a bit. Just go back. I will just go back to the manage form. And now I want to give some sense to these permissions, and I will show you how we use them. So I'm now on the register button. We have here the standard user registration, update user profile, user login. But before user login, I want to give the user some permissions. So we will use the grant user role action. Maybe put it before the user login. And here I, I could choose one of the roles in from this dropdown. But in this case, I don't want the roles to come from here. I want to take them from the permission grid. And just as any other field in action form, you'll just use the tokens to access the field values. And the token for this permission grid is a little bit speci special, and you will find it in the description here, in the description of the action. So you see, we need a field name, double column, permission name. So this is the field name, followed by the permission name, which is permissions. So just put here, like that. 
So again, this is the ID of the field and this is the name of the permission. In this case, I had two permission. One was called permissions and one was called page permissions. And you see in grant user role action, these other role names already supports comma. So this list that I'm putting here, even if it's multiple roles, this uh, action knows to, to take all of them and give them to the current user that is being created. And this should be it. So you see it's very easy to configure, but it's uh, a little bit difficult to guess how it works. And I hope this video will change everything for you. But before uh, I complete this video, let me show you that this actually works. So uh, maybe I should log out. And now uh, start with a new user from the... So this is the first test. And I want to give myself role one and role two permission. So I'm just registering. And now uh, something should happen, like I should also be receiving some emails, only I put some wrong email here. So now I've been logged in. Let me log out and uh, go back as, ad, as uh, an administrator so I can check that I actually have the two roles and uh, <coughs> and uh, let me find this user in uh, user accounts this should be the, w the user. Okay, so you see I have roll one and roll two. <coughs> so, uh, you see how I use the permission grid to leverage the user permissions. Other things that you can do with it, and actually the primary purpose why we implemented this action grid this uh, permission grid was for for uh, the create page and uh, create module actions so these are separate add-ons that you can find on the store and here again you can uh, when you create a page you can um, uh, choose a list of permissions and you can get these permissions for from a permission grid for example you can say the view permissions are and in our case we, we could use the uh, select your role that page permission and this is how we use the other thing that so we created two permissions in the grid one we used to grant user roles and we can use this other one to create a page on behalf of this user that has these permissions so let's say that you want to create your profile page that is visible only to some roles and you select which roles And uh, this is it, but before I end, let me tell you that this action, for this permission grid to work with the um, grant user role, you'll need action form 2.4.40. So that's the minimum build that will work because there were some incompatibilities in the sense that this token actually, I checked it in the code, returns a list of uh, role IDs, not a list of role names. And the grant user role used to only wo work with uh, role names but now I just extended it to to be able to also get like you can do it like this and you can do comma or you can do semicolon you can do it like this or you can do it like this and you even can combine so you can combine a role ID with a role name and even then again with some tokens and that's it I promise I will make a bigger effort to document all, all of these secrets, but in the meanwhile, just keep asking me and I will, I will re reveal them one, one by one. Thanks for your time. Bye.